Bundo. Oh. I'm Anthony DeBundo. I'm Addison Hunsiger. I'm Eli Courtney. And this is the Not Top 10. Let's get started with number 10. Can you turn the map over a little bit? Deep by fly, fly ball to left here. Carl Crawford, he misses it here. Terrible play from Carl Crawford as he's been bouncing around the league for a long time. Swings it in and it looks like round in third base is not too hot here as he is thrown out by a mile at the plate. Just a terrible play all around there for both teams. We had, number, we had number nine, Jared Sellinger trying to work the point four on Alex Lyon. He just dribbles the ball right out of bounds. I don't know what Jared Sellinger was doing there, but he probably should have been handling the ball in that situation. And number eight, we got the Lakers coming down the court, so you know it's going to be a non top ten play. We got D'Angelo Russell and Jordan Clarkson getting tied up, you know, the little teammate defense we got going on. Seems to be more typical than a, uh, more typical than usual for a team like the Lakers. But, you know, D'Angelo Russell ends up dribbling right out of bounds. Here we go at number seven, U-17 Cup, World Cup qualifying. Columbia's heads it into his own goal. Great cross in, but the Columbia defender... Didn't get enough on that header to send it over the bar and puts it a, a beautiful finish right into his own net. Number six, David right at the plate. Ryan Zimmerman trying a new position this year at first base, tries to get another fly ball, oh, just slips right there and the ball bounces. A nice little E3, David Wright advances to first base. Zimmerman flopping like a fish on that one. All right, number five, we got the Clippers. Throw the ball straight out of bounds, trying to get the pass into the corner for a corner three. Goes into about row eight there. I do not think that there's a guy in the stands waiting for that pass. We go to high school hoops. Finlay prep here on national television. Great rebound to get the ball here and great box out, but he puts the ball into his own net. Not ideal from the big man from Finlay prep there. Number three, we got Toronto and Tampa Bay. Run tries to steal second and whoop! With the fortuitous bounce off of Marcus Estrada's head. The runner advances to second base on the stolen base. The wild throw. I don't know what you would call that one, but right, right off the head of Marcus Estrada. And for number two, we're coming straight at you from the Oracle Arena. We've got Steph Curry, wide open corner three. He makes that nine times out of ten. But he decides to pass it off to Clay Thompson, who has already given up on the play. He knows Steph Curry will make the shot, but not that time. Too much ball movement from the Warriors. If you take a look here at number one, the pancake dunk here, dunk contest, and that is not going to get a good score from Julius Irving. Not even he can give that one a 10, as that's probably going to go down as a one. Pancake flop. 